So, as we're filming this, we are broadcasting to you from a studio about five floors up. And the building in which we're located is built on the surface of a planet. Spoiler alert, that's Earth. And if you are like the vast majority of the people alive now, and to be honest, the vast majority of people alive for uh, at least the past few centuries, then you believe that the building is on ultimately a sphere, a three-dimensional circle. Welcome to the show. This is an update video on the theory of the flat earth, the so-called flat earth. It's been popping up in social media in the past few months and it's been popping up in human history for millennia, though perhaps not as often as you might think or your old textbooks might have told you. So what's this, what's this flat earth thing about? Let's define it first off. The idea is that for one reason or another, that Earth is not the sphere we know it to be, and that all the evidence proves it to be, but instead is a disk, right? And so like the North Pole is at the center, sort of like a, uh, the hub of a wheel, and then the, uh, the rest of the thing is encased in a wall of ice. And we confuse that with the South Pole, but it's actually this long wall. There's an excellent article that came out uh, on one of our, uh, our peer channels, How Stuff Works Now, by our friend Christian Sager about the age old argument of the flat earth. And he has a great line in there where he says, uh, think of the South Pole actually as the, um, the wall in Game of Thrones. So that's the basic definition. And uh, we've had a lot of folks write into us on Twitter and Facebook where we're conspiracy stuff. If you wanna pause the video and look us up now. We've had so many questions and, and from your YouTube comments as well, you know, guys, uh, what's this flat earth thing? What, what gives? So we have four important things to know, not just about the flat earth theory, but about the continuing conversation that's occurring today. Number one, Matt and I did a video on the Flat Earth a long time ago, and you can check it out. Uh, I, I will be honest, uh, we had a lot of people who just saw the headline and said, oh, oh my God, rabble, 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 I can't believe that you believe in the Flat Earth. And if you're watching this show, you know that we live in a world uh, where people are very comfortable reading the headline of something and then replying to their opinion about the headline. But we did this video so long ago that we wanted to come in with this update and talk about some of the recent things that have occurred regarding this. So number two, the flat earth theory became uh, more prominent in national media and global media when entertainers like B.O.B. And, and Tila Tequila started talking about it in Twitter, sometimes in all caps, which as you know, lends a lot of credibility, I guess. And B.O.B. in particular was, uh, was involved with a Twitter, a Twitter beef, a healthy conversation, a spirited discussion uh, with scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson over uh, the shape of the earth and how so many people could believe it's a sphere. Do so many people believe it's a sphere because there is a vast conspiracy? Or do so many people believe it's a sphere because it's true? This leads us to an interesting question, which is how much of this propagation of this flat earth theory on the part of entertainers can be traced to a sincere belief or a marketing ploy? Because let's not forget that people are often in a constant struggle to maintain a spot in the national attention span, to at least be a moat in the public eye. So one of the best ways to accomplish these kind of things is to be controversial. Speaking of belief, number three, not all the so-called flat earthers agree on the nature of this theory, right? Uh, you'll actually find some very interesting articles where people accuse other flat earth uh, proponents of being misinformation, of, of hiding the truth. Still saying there's a flat earth, but uh, propagating it in a way that ultimately like derides the, the concept or ultimately obfuscates the meaning, right? We see people who could be called geocentrist, which would be uh, the modern version of people who believe that the Earth is the center of the universe. And that in some cases, 
uh, hev the heavens, the sky, is, is a firmament, is, is a dome. Like we're like on the inside of an egg almost, or some sort of spherical object. And while we're here, let's just do a quick recap of some of the things that people who believe in Flat Earth point to as evidence. You'll often hear a religious basis, a, a quote from Genesis perhaps, or you'll hear some, uh, some creationism come in, you know, that not only is Earth flat, but that it is 5,000, 6,000 years old. It is very important to point out at this juncture, this time in history, many more people pretend to believe in this for some sort of point about uh, the nature of rhetoric and how one can argue anything. And if you argue it well, it doesn't matter if you're right. Many more people believe in stuff like that when they talk about flat earth, as opposed to actually believing in some kind of disc shaped earth. Uh, we can also see uh, some philosophical things, such as the so-called Zetetic method, which means that uh, you and I and Matt and Noel can only encounter the world through our direct senses. And based on a series of experiments by a fellow named Dr. Robotham, this Zetetic method has been used to construct um, what the Flat Earth Society uses as an argument for the existence of Earth as a disk. All of which leads us to number four. How, and more importantly, why would people participate in some kind of cover-up if this were true? Why would every relevant scientist in history, why would every relevant government in history, why would everyone who has traveled a great deal or circumnavigated the globe uh, say, oh no, it's flat. Are they, are they all mistaken? Is there a, a small group of people that span generations that are somehow able to uh, bilk everyone else? Uh, do you, you know, if you do fly around the world and then like partway through, uh, the flight attendant comes out with this pamphlet that says, actually Earth is flat, you're sworn to secrecy if you want to leave this plane alive. That would be an interesting flight. I would take that flight. We know that it can be quite difficult to keep any sort of secret for a long time. I mean, even the FBI is having a tough time with JFK. Uh, and some of those papers are gonna be, well, as of now, they're going to be released pretty soon, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, so if, if these powerful agencies have this tough time keeping a secret as small as the assassination of a single person, and I don't mean that it was no big deal, I mean in comparison to the shape of the planet, why would someone do this? Why go to all this trouble? What is, what is the, the secret being hidden? So let's face it, if Earth is a disk rather than a sphere, for most people, that doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the price of food. It doesn't affect uh, whether or not someone you have a crush on likes you or dislikes you. And just in a day-to-day -day thing, it seems uh, somewhat abstract to a lot of people uh, in, as they go through the hours of their week. So for that fact alone, uh, there's, there's a big question. And let's, let's not let this go without pointing out that every satellite that has been in space has appeared to orbit around a sphere. Every astronaut who has been to space has reported seeing Earth as a sphere. Every planet that we look at in the rest of the solar system and beyond is a sphere. There are no examples of disc-shaped planets that we have found at this point. Now, of course, you know, there are asteroids, there are things that don't have that spherical shape, but the evidence for Earth being a sphere at this point vastly and far outweighs evidence of it being another sort of shape. With all this in mind, we must of course ask, what if we're wrong? What if, what if the, the, the few people, and there are a few people who genuinely believe this, uh, what, if, what if they're right? How? Why, why would this cover up exist? I keep getting stuck on that question. And, and for the record, personally, Matt and Noel and Scully and I have no contact with uh, B.O.B. or Tila Tequila and haven't spoken with them over why they believe this or, or what they believe about it. 
But if you do check out their tweets, uh, I'd love to hear your opinion of this whole flat earth thing. Is it a genuine belief at this point? Because it hasn't been for a long time. Columbus knew the earth was round. It's pretty obvious. Uh, or is it something else? Is it a marketing ploy? Is it like bread and circuses? You know, is it to distract you from some other more important issue? Which should always be the first question on our minds when we hear about kerfuffles like this. While you're on the internet, if you want to hear our podcast and want more information about the flat earth theory, flat earth society, arguments for and against, uh, then check out our upcoming audio podcast where Noel, Matt, and I look at the creationism, the geocentrism, the science, the rumors, the history, the theories, both ancient and current. And one last thing, the thing we always like to end on, uh, our best ideas come from you. So let us know what you'd like us to cover in the future. Uh, you, can, uh, you can drop me a line there in the comments. You can email us directly. We are conspiracy at howstuffworks.com.